No, I'm nervous. I'm in a cold blanket right now. Okay, we're able to load the game. Oh my god. What is this? Is this how I'm gonna start the video? Leo? <laughs> His face is combined with somebody else. If this isn't nightmare fuel, I don't know what is. It's so scary. It looks like he has bloodshot eyes. And clown makeup. Oh my god, Yasmin, what happened to you? <laughs> Yasmin! She got combined with Lorenzo Hansen. Or Hansen. This is just horrifying. He has a mustache and it's coming out of her, like, the, the corners of her lip. Hi, Yumiko. Gl gl glad to see- gl I can't even talk right now. Glad to see you're a part of this. I- what just happened? Hey everybody, welcome back to The Sims 4. And this is what I'm greeted to as soon as I load the game. I have no idea what caused this. I just have like a 3x3 three three army of NPC Sims marching at my front door. I don't know what they want. I don't know why they're here. I don't know why Leo is one of them. All I know is that I just recently removed all of my mods for the game because it was messing with my save files. Should I press play? I'm a little scared to press play. I'm, I'm worried they're all gonna, like, riot. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my house. What are they doing? They're just standing. Ah! Oh, okay, goodbye, everyone. Leo, do you care to explain what exactly that was? Why did you bring an army to my house? She's like, Dad, you, you look, I gave you the apartment key ages ago. You can't keep doing stuff like this. I just want to play baseball with you, my daughter. And take out the trash. I just want to be a part of the family again. Leo, turn that off! No! You can't watch TV at this time. It's 3 in the morning and our next door neighbor is going to be very angry at us. I spent all that time last episode befriending him and trying to repair our relationship and I'm not gonna have you mess it all up again just because you hate us. Stop eating all our food! You can't just take an Italian meatball and then phase through all of our walls. No! Look what you've done! I told you! <laughs> Salim, I'm so sorry. Here, let's let Steven do it because he's his friend. Okay, let's settle this politely. He's like, you can't be watching TV at 4 a.m. I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. Wait, that was nice. Why did we still lose, like, relationship? Okay, bye. He always does that. He just phases out of existence. What a hectic start to the episode. I didn't even get to introduce, like, what we're doing. Um, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> I know that in, like, three or four sim days. Yeah, in three sim days is the wedding. But until then, I don't really... I don't really know what I have planned. But that's okay, we can just be spontaneous. Work for Lucy starts in one hour. Let's go to work with Lucy again. I haven't done that since uh, a few episodes back. Should I get Lucy a new job? I don't know if I really like her being an investigator. It's kind of boring. I feel like they could have made the detective career a little more interesting. Crime scene. At a crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect. Yeah, I have to investigate objects. This is a huge lot. What? This is an entire island. So, what seems to be the problem? There's a lot of broken objects here. Whoever came to this house did not like electronics. Awesome. A crime photo has been added to my inventory. Um, I have to get reports from witnesses, but there are no witnesses. There's a witness. Wait, that's me! That's my sim! Wow, why do I look so sad? That's... That's accurate, though. I like that. I'm a witness, apparently. <laughs> um, let's take a witness report from myself. Alfonso, madame? Uh, Excuse me, Miss Mita Cat. What am I saying to her? I don't know. I don't understand Simlish. I have to translate it. Mita didn't provide much, but maybe it will fit into the case somewhere. I, I bet you I didn't see anything. I just told her, like, a flat-out lie just because I panicked. What am I doing? What? This is not my house! <laughs> What's my Sim doing? She just went to this random person's bedroom and just, like, cried in her bed. Oh, here we go. Another witness. Just chilling by the pool. This isn't even your pool. You're not here to hang out. Lucy, not you too! Why are they all swimming? They're trying to celebrate what's left of the summer. Why are you dressed like that? Shouldn't be you- shouldn't you be in uniform? Whatever. Who am I to tell you how to live your life? Let's go back to the police station. Okay, we're back. Um, I have to analyze the evidence that I found. I found a lot of evidence. I have a- I have a really good feeling about this case. I think we're gonna find him. 
No one here is dressed like how they're supposed to be dressed. What exactly are you wearing? She's a lab tech and she's wearing some kind of like 1800s. <laughs> what is this? I mean, that's fine. Maybe it's casual Friday. There, okay. I'm technically done now. There's like 15 seconds left of work. Let me just add these clues here. But can Lucy make it to the crime map in 9 seconds before the day ends? 3, 2, 1. I'm <laughs> counting too fast. Oh, <laughs> it didn't look like she made it. Hey, but I got promoted. She has now been promoted to corporal and received following bonuses. That is a lot of bonuses. I'm not going to read all that. Thank you, Lucy, for a nice productive day at work. You are free to do whatever you want now. You know what's a feature I don't use as often as I should in this game is taking selfies with other sims. I mean, you guys are getting married soon. Oh, uh, Salim, <laughs> he just got in the shot. That's so perfect, actually. I like that. I wish this would be a bigger picture. It really sucks how many things Rose has to do just to get promoted. She has to increase her painting skill, which she doesn't even have level 1. There, she has acquired the painting skill. Wow, she painted that in like 2 seconds? God, I wish painting were that fast. Rose, don't act like you know what any of that means. You're literally level 1. Trying to use her thumb to show proportions. I'm probably gonna do a lot of this off camera. I just really need her to, um, to improve her promotion tasks. Because I want her to get promoted. It's She's been like a level 5 style influencer for ages. Everyone else is moving up in their career except for her. And I hate it. She's such a hard worker, Rose. She deserves more credit. Sell to collector for 50 simoleons? She paid 50 simoleons for that canvas, so she basically made nothing. It's okay, Rose. It's the experience that counts. I'm proud of you. Now go to bed. You have a long day tomorrow. I've been thinking... I kind of hate this apartment. Like, it's beautiful, and I really like what I did with the place. But I just hate being on this top floor, and every time I move the camera, it bounces. And also, Salim, as much as I love you, it is very annoying to have you come to my house, like, angrily. When I Like, I'm not even trying to annoy you. Sometimes my sims just turn on the TV at 3 a.m. And also, after I get these two married, the next step is going to be kids. And I don't know, I mean, we could always use this extra room for a baby. But still, I think it's time to find these guys an actual house. Away from landlords like Myra Trevetti. I don't know if I'm going to build a house for them or just like uh, find one on the gallery. I haven't decided yet, but for sure I, I, I want to get them out of this apartment. We've lived here for six episodes. It's time to move on. Okay, Rose, you need to take pictures for your um, for your homework assignment. Take photo of what exactly? Just anything? I'll take a photo of Steven. <laughs> That's a good picture, I like that. I call it breakfast time. What's going on with my game? It's like... Oh, what is, what is this? Look at the frame rate. It's bad. Why is my game so nasty all of a sudden? I don't like that. Oh, I might have to restart the game. This is bad. Hold on. No, abort mission. Stop. Stop. No. Close OBS. Okay, the game has been reloaded. I think everything is fine now. Steven's getting a phone call. An acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Try being a little nicer. Becoming disliked is a slippery slope. Excuse me? Who even are you? Who told him that? Who's your friend? Is it Salim? Salim, I would like to have a few words with you. Of course, he's not home. I should have known better. Who was I mean to recently? <laughs> Maybe it was actually Joffrey, now that I think about it. I was pretty mean to Joffrey the other week. Or maybe it was Leo? No, Leo doesn't have friends. What am I talking about? I'm so proud of you, Rose. You did all of your job goals. I'm pretty sure she'll be promoted tomorrow. One day before she gets married. It's a holiday? Night on the town. Free food and drink- What? Yeah, let's totally celebrate this holiday. Why can't this holiday exist in real life? Come on, wake up everybody, we need to celebrate this. Sadly, Rose has work in three hours, and so does Lucy. Ray also has work, so I guess it's just gonna be me, me and Steven. Oh no, Ray doesn't have work until later. Okay, father-son bonding time. Hey, there we go! I can finally select a branch. I can either be a stylist or a trendsetter. 
I like the idea of being a trendsetter because it says you can affect the look of the world and then every now and then you're gonna see NPC sims just wearing the clothes that I designed. So yeah, trendsetter. Congratulations, Rose! I'm so proud of you! Rose is probably the hardest worker among all the people here. She goes through a lot. And on the complete flip side, Steven really doesn't do a lot of anything. He doesn't have a stable job, but he does make a lot of money while he does it. Let's face it, yard sailing, it makes a lot, especially when you have these voodoo dolls. Okay, everyone's at work. Salim is being really annoying. Let's go out for a night on the town. Well, technically it's still like <laughs> one in the afternoon, but it's still a night on the town. That's the name of the holiday. Let's go to a place we haven't gone to in a really long time. Remember La Tante Bistro? That horrible place? Let's give it another shot. Here's your table, enjoy. Thanks, it's outside. I like that, the, the weather is nice here in Newcrest. Everything is zero dollars, it's amazing! We're both getting steaks. For sure, definitely. Thank you, we'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. Yeah, forgive me if I'm somewhat doubtful, but I'll take your word for it for now. Ray is like, so son, I'm getting married tomorrow. You don't find it weird at all that I'm gonna be marrying your stepdaughter? He's like, Dad, please don't bring that up. That's really weird. I'm really happy for you, you know? I've never known my mom, so it's really cool that I'll be getting a mom. Even though that mom is technically my wife's daughter and is technically my stepdaughter. And oh, oh, the food's here. Yeah, let's stop talking about this. You know, once upon a time, a long time ago, Ray was married once. Stephen actually never met his mom. He never knew who she was. I'm just gonna say she passed away when he was really, really young. And ever since then, Ray never really wanted to remarry. And he was he was honestly not really the best parental figure for Stephen growing up. He wasn't really there for his son when he needed him. It wasn't until Stephen was around his late teens where Ray finally realized, you know, I'm getting old, just like this person. I'm probably not gonna be around for long. I really need to step up my game and take care of my boy, especially since he only has me. It's uh, it's really sad actually. But now they have a really great relationship because now he's making up for all that lost time that they never really spent together. That's why he always likes to go fishing and make stuff for him and supports him 100% whatever decision it is. Don't get me wrong, he wasn't like a terrible parent or anything. He never did anything like awful to Steven. He was just kind of neglectful. You know, it's almost like Ray was less of a dad and just a person there to provide food, etc. Where are you going? <laughs> just as I was talking about how he's always going to be here for Steven and he leaves. Oh, he has work. Okay, that's understandable. Well, Steven, you're all by yourself again. Okay, time to go. There's no bill to pay, so I can literally just leave. We'll spend some time now. Now that Steven spent time with the groom, we're going to have him spend time with the, the bride-to-be. Welcome everyone to the Spice Festival. Yumiko, what are you wearing? She is just wearing all beige. Wait, everyone's wearing beige. I guess we're the weird ones. We missed the dress code. Whatever, we're here. You know what that means. It means it's time to start a yard sale. Who the hell is this? Why is he dressed up as a llama? Well, whoever you are, I'm sure you would love to buy these Easter eggs. Or maybe this extremely expensive voodoo doll. I don't know, I mean, you look like the type that would buy some really weird shit. Come on, have some pity. Buy some of my stuff. I collected this with my love and care. <sighs> this, you know what? Forget it. I can't sell things. Why don't I just busk on the guitar instead? This is what people really want. They want entertainment. They don't want voodoo dolls. They want talent. Um... Yeah, as I was saying, talent. I, I really don't know what he's playing. Is this the avant-garde music? It sounds like it. If it doesn't make sense, but still sounds very complicated, it's probably avant-garde. Anyways, where'd Rose go? She's socializing. Maybe she should be the, the salesperson. I feel like she'd be better at that. Let's try it. She's all like, come on, Steven. Yard sailing can't be that hard. He's like, actually, Rose, it takes a lot of practice and hard work. It's not easy. <gasps> you see that? You see that? She bought the sim head, the pre-sim head that Steven has been struggling to sell for 10 episodes. Again, look, 
Oh my god, the table is almost empty. Oh, I think the festival is ending. Yeah, let's just end that. Oh my god, it's two in the morning. Yeah, no, you guys need to get home. I'm sorry, Rose. Look how tired she is. I, I had you do all that work before her, her special day. I feel bad. I had her, like, increase all her skills. She got a promotion at work. She did Steven's job for him since he apparently sucks at it. Rose is the true MVP of this series, I swear. I know it's, like, very Steven-centric, but Rose deserves way more credit. Okay, rise and shine, everyone. Hurry up and eat your breakfast and do all that stuff. The wedding is literally in three hours. I didn't plan this very well. I shouldn't have gone to that stupid spice festival. Yumiko, this was her plan the whole time. She's the one who invited us. Two hours? You guys have two hours to eat? Can you eat faster? I had to uninstall the fast eating mod because all of my mods were messing with my game file. I can't believe I procrastinate in real life and in video games. The wedding is in an hour and a half. Oh, that's cute and all you guys, but like, can you hurry and eat your breakfast? Rose, you didn't even start eating yet? Rose, oh my god. Rose. Your, wedding, your own wedding is in one hour, Rose. Eat your damn parfait yogurt. Everyone else is ready. Like, literally. Oh my god, the wedding starts soon. The game is even telling me. Ah. <laughs> okay, forget your hunger, Rose. I don't care. Let's go to the park. Sorry, you have to go to your own wedding on an empty stomach. No double Lucy this time. I'm, I'm happy to see that. Nothing is gonna go wrong on this wedding. I absolutely refuse to let anything go wrong. Okay, the wedding is literally in like 30 seconds. Ray is making the cake as usual, because that's... I don't know, it's kind of his thing. Lucy, you probably don't want to touch trash while you're wearing that. It's a very expensive dress, you know. Hello. Here for the wedding? Actually, no, this is just her house. Well, Mimsy, I hate to break it to you, but I'm going to be opening up this place to the public. That's another part of this celebration. Isn't just the marriage of Rose and Ray, but also opening Von Haunt Estates to the public. Wedding is about to begin. Yes, let's start. It's gonna take a while for the guests to show up, and that's okay. All that matters is that everyone shows up by the time that these two get married. Hello, Yumiko. You don't seem very uh, dressed for the occasion, but that's okay. We're not here to judge. You're wearing sunglasses. Maybe I should judge you. Hello everybody, thank you for coming. I'm glad you could all make it. This actually isn't all the guests yet, but I don't care. Hi, my name is Lucy Reyes. I'm glad you could come to my daughter's wedding. Hi, my name is Riley Wyatt. Oh yes, Relay, we've heard all about you. No, actually it's Riley Relay. Hello, Miss Mimsy. Thank you so much for letting us use your home for our wedding venue. And also thank you for allowing us to open up the place to the public. There's just a few more people and then we can get the ceremony started. The vampire's here. How he's able to survive sunlight, I don't know. Oh, he has an umbrella! I see, I understand now. There she is, Myra Trevetti. Why is she wearing that to a wedding? How dare you approach Ray like this on his wedding day? Okay, everyone important is here. I see Diego has arrived. Let's start the ceremony before it gets too late. It's literally gonna take ages for all of us to walk all the way over here. I sent Stephen there like a while ago, and he's still walking there. Oh, they're being nostalgic. I'm pretty sure this is where Steven proposed to her, right? Okay, get married to Rose Reyes. By the way, do you like their outfits? I, I made her wedding dress super gothy. Fits her personality really well. Welcome, dear family and friends. We are gathered here today to bear witness to the marriage between two sims. Do you, Rosaria Reyes, take Ray Sims to be your sinfully wedded husband? I do. And do you, Raymond Sims, take Rose Reyes to be your sinfully wedded wife? I do. Then, with the otherworldly power vested in me, I now pronounce you two officially married. Yay! <laughs> Aww. Congratulations, you two! So everybody, I thank you all for coming. Thank you for attending that extremely quick wedding ceremony. I know it's a little cramped right now, but that's because there's so much red tape here. Or, that's not red tape. I don't know why I keep calling this red tape. This is literally not red tape. And so I am going to summon the powers of this universe to literally delete all these velvet ropes. Because we are tired of this gatekeeping. Why should we have to close off this wonderful place to all of our wonderful citizens? 
So, time freezes and I delete literally all this stuff. And there you go! Ladies and gentle sims, the Von Haunt estates are now open to everyone. Regardless of your ghostly status. <gasps> Ghosts! I forgot to invite Leo! I didn't invite her own biological dead dad to the wedding. I feel so horrible. Let's invite him now. I can't. I can't click on him. I don't have... There's no connection in the underworld. That's okay. Who cares about him? We're gonna cut the cake now. There you go, my darling. Aww. Rose, that is literally like the most emo thing. She's eating her cake in the closet. There's no one here. Are you okay? Are, are you feeling like anxious? Oh, okay. It was just a friendly kiss. I was like, is this what's happening now? Now it's party time. Let's listen to, I don't know, alternative. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Who's playing piano? Oh. Mimsy, that's so beautiful. Leo wants to have breakfast. I'm gonna say yeah, because I feel just horrible about not inviting him to the wedding. I mean, it didn't give me an option to do that. I just straight up forgot that Leo existed. So let's have breakfast together at... This is not Shay Lama. He said this last time. You are such a jokester, Leo. Haha. <laughs> let's have breakfast at a five-star restaurant. Just kidding. Let's go here to a seafood place. What should we order for breakfast? None of these are really breakfasty items. Well, it's like brunch now, so let's just get BLTs. He's like, so my dear, congratulations on getting married. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wedding. No, I'm sorry, Dad. I wasn't able to invite you. I can't exactly send invitations to the underworld, you know. No, I understand, Rose. It's not your fault. I'm just happy to see you happy. Thanks, Dad. Yes! Oh, I thought the food was for us! You lied! Oh, they ordered a root beer float. I used to love those. Such a classic summer drink. Another reason why I love summer. Not that you need- Not that it needs to be summer for you to drink that. I'm just making excuses now. He just left it there. What? Can I take it? Gimme. Your loss. It's like, Rose, come back here. Stop stealing people's food again. Why are you eating here? That's so messed up. You don't want to sit next to your dad? Okay, they're both eating here now. That's not as sad then. They just want to get away from all these noisy patrons. Especially Joffrey Landgrab. Rose looks so happy. Even her emotion says she's very happy. Happy from just married. And she's also happy from out to breakfast. That's so cute. Can we just give Rose a round of applause for a second here? Because she is one of the best sims in this entire household. Right at the start of the series, she lost her dad. And she was incredibly sad about that, but regardless of her pain and grief, she fought through it all and really held the family together. She worked extremely hard for three days before her wedding, organized an entire movement to open up Von Haunt Estate to the public, and can still set aside some time to hang out with her dead dad. Where'd Leo go? He always abandons me in the middle of breakfast! He did this last time too, this is... I'm starting to sense a pattern here. Maybe we shouldn't have breakfast with Leo anymore. Whatever, time to go home. We gotta wrap up this day, see how the rest of the family is doing. Welcome home, Rose. How was breakfast with your dad? It was good. He kind of abandoned me though, but that happens. Hey, Lindsay. Can you tell me a joke? Lindsay. Oh, they actually say Lindsay. I, I don't know why that surprises me. Like... What? Is she telling him a divorce joke? That's literally, like, literally not funny. Lindsay, that is so inappropriate. Yell at her. Linzu. Linzu. He called her Linzu. Lindsay, you are a piece of trash. <gasps> she insulted him back? Did that make him mad? 
It got him mad. Oh no! It looks like Rose has food poisoning. Something must have been wrong with the restaurant food. She should get on the phone and let him know. Oh, Rose! And she broke the shower. I bet you she puked in it and that's why it's broken. You okay? You alright? Oh dear. Mm, I'll take that as a no. Oh, Literally the day after her wedding, she gets food poisoning. I'm so sorry, Rose. Yeah, just take a nap. Get some rest. Hopefully you'll feel better soon. He's taking a nap too, but just because Lindsay made him mad. And Steven is reading a romance book. Not the kind of thing I, I would I would think that you would like reading, Steven. He's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> he autonomously put the book away. I didn't tell him to do that. Self-awareness. Oh, everyone is all sad now because they feel bad for Rose, I bet. Well, we'll let her rest. We'll turn off all the lights in this room too, so it doesn't bother her. What are you doing? Thinking about Leo? I'm telling you, everyone cares way too much about Leo. This is his fault, right here. I'm just kidding. That was <laughs> that wasn't Leo's fault. Hold on. Let me wait. Let me bother Rose just for one second. Sorry, Rose, to wake you up. I know you're not feeling all that great. But you, we need to tell the restaurant what's going on. We're taking Rose's claim of food poisoning very seriously. Please accept 163 simoleons as compensation for our mistake. Again, we are so sorry. Please don't tell anyone. Ha, well, I, it's going on YouTube, so you got <laughs> everyone's gonna know. Okay, it seems like the family is all settled in now. Maybe I'll wait a bit for Rose to recover and then I'll end the episode. But in the meantime, I just want to check something real quick. I am so scared to look at the family tree. So, wait, I thought that they said that all ties will be severed. Ice Cream is still listed as a as a sister of Steven. She's ruining the family tree. Ice Cream, you're not supposed to be on here. Uh, whatever. She, she's part of the story now, apparently. That was completely unplanned, but it happens. So, here's the genealogy of the Sims Reyes family thus far. Steven is in the center, and <laughs> there's two roses. <laughs> That's really funny. Rose is listed on here twice. Like, she's literally listed on here twice as his stepdaughter and his stepmother at the same time. Feeling better, Rose? Oh, already? She survived food poisoning. That was quick. That was only like five hours. And she's already drinking coffee. Aww. He's like, you know, Rose, I never had a mom. Well, I, I did, but I never knew her. And is she looking at me? Did you see that look that she gave me? Like... I swear she was looking right at me, or am I just paranoid because I keep thinking Angel, that my Sims are self-aware? Anyways, Rose, I'm so happy to call you my mom now. That that sounds really weird, but it's true. Please don't take that in a weird way. Also, I just realized his name is Steven and her name is Rose, and Rose is Steven's mom, and if you watch a certain cartoon, that's gonna sound really familiar. I swear that wasn't what I intended. I only named him Steven because... The guy who sang the song that I'm basing this off of, his name is Ray Stevens. That's why I named him Steven and his dad Ray. And I named her Rose just because her hair is red. Okay, everyone seems like they're doing great. So, I think I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully there's no extra plot twists. No one else gets food poisoning. Nothing? We're good? Okay. <laughs> In that case... <sighs> Are you serious? I guess that means I can't end the episode with them sleeping, so I'll just end the episode with them doing whatever it is they want to do. I'm going to give them like two minutes of free will while I end the episode. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I enjoyed recording it. I had a really fun time recording the wedding and also getting to spend more time with Lucy at work. And it was great to see some more character development with Rose. And also Ray and Steven too, I got to talk a little bit about some backstory I made up for them. Because like I said before, these guys weren't really meant to have backstory. So it was really fun getting to explore that. I might change it around here and there, especially since I'm making it up on the spot, but I like what I have for now. I like the idea that Leo died in a construction accident, even though it was actually just me who killed him <laughs> by boxing him into a room. I like the idea that Rose and Lucy are forever traumatized by grilled fruit because that was the last thing they ate before he died. I don't know, I just really like all these random stories I'm giving to them. 
Especially since 90% of the time, it's just made up on the spot. I'm not writing this or planning it or anything. And that's what makes it great. That's what makes this household so fun. Anyways, I'm really looking forward to recording more. This game is so fun to record. And I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh no! He didn't make it to bed! Sorry, Ray.